Hey you guys and welcome to another video. So today nga po is I'm going to share to you my first week na experience sa law school. So if you're interested, so please keep watching. And by the way, I'm Jeremiah and I upload law school and law student related vlogs. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to click subscribe and click the notification bell sa tabi na subscribe. Or you can just click the click here na circle sa my corner. So let's get to the video. Okay guys, so hello nga po and today is I'm going to share to you my first week sa law school. So kung ano nangyari, especially that for those who don't know, I'm yet a first year na law student. I'm going to share to you kung ano nga ba ang experience kapag first week sa law school. So let's start! So, una po, sa mga klase ko tsaka instructor. Noong una, nung pagpasok ko sa room, nagulat ako kasi may mga nakita ako na ma mas bata, tsaka mas mature naman. Tapos yung talaga makikita mo na there are different types of people sa law school. Yung iba, majority of them are mas bata nga, tapos yung iba is mas mature. Yung mas bata, kasi nga, sa part ng first day is the introduction. Nalaman ko na majority of pala dun sa mga bata na yun ay mga fresh graduates. Tapos kami naman ng mga hindi na bata, hindi na masyadong bata, yung iba sa amin ay mga may trabaho na talaga. Yun, nagulat ako kasi akala ko kami lahat eh may mga trabaho. Hindi pala. Yung iba pala is mga full-time student. Tapos, sa instructors naman, nagulat ako kasi I was expecting na yung mga instructors or mga professors ko are may edad na, matatanda. But, when I got to know them, I realized na ang babata. Ay, hindi naman siya babatang bata pero majority of them are hindi pa yung matanda talaga na ano, talagang puting buhok, ganun. Ayos din kasi yung mga instructors namin eh medyo nasa mga early 40s, di naman nasa mid 40s. So, medyo, mm, parang ka-vibes lang. So, they treat us as like student. Tapos, may, yung ano ba, yung mga jokes. Tsaka, kasi minsan kasi, nagpapans din ng jokes. Tsaka, nagpapans din sila ng mga current affairs. So, we can relate to each other. Kahit na yung mga mas bata sa amin, they can relate because our professors na mga attorneys are able to relate with what is happening in the society right now. Like, even the trends sa Facebook, they can relate. And they can insert them the, to our topic, to the articles, to the constitution, and all. Kaya yun, so far, yung mga instructors namin ayos pa naman. Kaya lang yun na nga, hindi naman lahat ng mga instructors ganun or mga professors ganun kasi yung iba, ayos mag-explain. Para sa akin ha, ayos mag-explain. Kaya lang, medyo mabilis. Kaya nahirapan ako makahabol. Uh, next would be the lesson. Grabe, ang bilis ng lesson. It's not the point na ang bilis na ang bilis niya magsalita. Pero yung point ko na ang bilis is, wala kaming introduction. Siguro sa, if you're a law student right now and you're watching this video, siguro sa law school nyo is, may subject yun na introduction to law. Kaya lang sa amin, wala kaming gano'n na subject. Kaya, kaming mga hindi polsay, kaming mga hindi mga kumuha ng accountancy o di kaya mga polsay subjects, or any pre-law course na medyo related sa law, medyo nahirapan sa pag-adjust. Kasi nga, no first day, I tell you no first day, first subject namin is si Dean, yung professor namin. Kaya, nung nagsalita na siya, sabi ko, ah, oh, wow, wala akong naintindihan kay Tisa. Though, I understood some by the examples na binigay niya sa amin, kaya lang yung mga points doon or may mga topics doon na hindi ko talaga nakuha at first. Because nga, nung pre-law ko, wala kami ganun. Kaya yun, tapos may instructor kami na sabi niya, binigyan niya kami agad ng case. Sabi niya, oh ito, please take note of the GR number, blah blah blah. Tapos, you read the cases because we'll have a quiz tomorrow. Sabi niya ganun. So, first meeting pa lang, sinabihin niya kami na may quiz kami tomorrow. And also, ang bilis ng mga pangyayari, hindi ko na maano, mahabol. Buti na lang din, yung mga kaklase ko, they were very supportive, especially to us, na mga 7 years ng graduate sa Prilo, may iba naman 10 years ng graduate sa Prilo. Kaya, I would also want to thank my classmate who are very supportive. May mga post-sai classmates kami, post-sai graduate sa Prilo na grabe, ang bibilis nila sa ano. Yung mga, ang bibilis nila sumagot ba? Pag may, may tanong. Tapos yung, yung professor nga namin one time, he asked kung sino mga post-sai graduates and he asked them na the, ano yung ibig sabihin ng constitution, blah blah blah, laws, and they were able to answer that quick. Kaya kami naman sa amin sabi ko, wow, buti na lang hindi kami tinawag kasi pag nagkaganon, eh medyo nakakahiya yun. ba? So, yun. Yun lang about sa instructors. Tapos, yun na nga, ang bilis. Hindi naman siya dapat. Pero, mas maganda siguro pag inintroduce kami sa mga mga terms like what is the constitution the law civil code what are those the penal code parang ganun ba kasi para naman hindi kami makulture siya pero sabagay huwag nyo akong huwag bakang magalit kayo sa akin kasi sabagay it's up to the student to catch up especially to us who are aspiring to become lawyers or law students sa first year so dapat nasa amin na yun na dapat talaga mag catch up sa topics then we have to siguro read more cases read the book more because there will be a lot of terms there sa book na makita and siguro, it's very high 
handy or it would be of good help talaga if you have your dictionary with you. Especially during discussions o di kaya pag nagbabasa ng ano, mga books para makarelate ka agad sa mga topics dun, sa mga lessons dun na eventually i-discuss sa mga professor. Next, sabi ng mga instructors namin kasi nga mabilis sila sa mga topics nila, advanced reading. Palagi lang sila sabi na, o sige, read mo yung for prelims, yung coverage ng pila natin is from page 1 to page 150. Then you have to read in advance everything so that pag mag-discussion na, e eh, dire ng discussion ng professors. E eh ako, especially ako ha, this is my personal na ano, experience. I'm a full-time na employee. I'm working as a college instructor sa Maritime College. Tapos, my duty is from 8 to 5. Buti na lang kay usapan ko yung ano, nagbibigay sa amin ng load or subject na sabi ko, sir, pwede bang until 4 lang yung paso ko sa ano, subject? Kahit na gawin mo akong 7.30 in the morning, 7.30 to 4 ayos sa akin. Para may time pa akong makabasa kahit konti lang na ano, for my law school. Parang ganun ba? Kasi pag sinabing 1-250 pages, parang mahirap yun para sa akin. Kaya nahirap na ako. Tapos, sa gabi naman, yung paso namin guys is 5.30 to 8.30 in the evening. Tapos, pagdating ko sa bahay, kasi yung, yung school namin from bahay is more like 20 minutes away. So, I have to drive pa mga 20 minutes pagdating ko sa bahay. So, I have to study not for law school, but I have to study for my lesson the next day. So, yun, para sa akin, parang medyo nahirapan ako magbasa ng advance. So, yun, but yes, for those na gusto maging law student, kailangan talaga ng advance reading. Kasi nung third day na, o di kayo nung fourth day, nung Thursday, I was able to read in advance some of the topics sa persons namin na, ano, na subject, that's civil one, or persons na subject, persons and family relations. Nag-advance study ako konti ng mga three to four pages. And nung nag-discuss na si Dean, eh, parang sabi ko, ah, ayos pa na talaga mag, ano, mag advance reading. Because you are able to catch up to understand what the Dean is discussing. Kasi daw, sabi nga ng mga teachers sa law, sa mga professors, mga attorneys, sabi nila, sa law school daw is kailangan talaga ng advanced reading because the attorneys will never treat the students, the law students, like the undergrad na students na iisa-isay nila yung mga topics. No guys, pag nasa law school ka, the professor will treat everyone like they know already the lesson. They will just expound everything na nasa book. Kailangan ka talagang mag-advanced reading and dapat hindi ka mag-absent kahit once lang. Yun. Nabanggit ko kanina, may isang subject kami na every meeting, eh, may quiz kami. The day before, the our instructor or the professor will give us, will assign us topics or will, will assign us cases for tomorrow's quiz. Nag-struggle ako because wala nga akong time sa work tapos sa law school din, wala akong time. Pag yung cases na binigay, yung binabasa ko is only the case stages. Parang mga case stages sa internet, guys. Pero yun nga, sabi ng professor namin, ayos lang magbasa ng case stages. Kaya lang, mas maganda pag full text yung buong kaso na basahin mo pa para mas ma-appreciate mo yung kaso, mas ma-appreciate mo yung application ng constitution o ng law, tsaka yung mas maintindihan mo talaga everything. I remember, one time nag-quiz nag kami sa, sa constitution, mababa yung score ko kasi nga hindi ko masyadong na-explain, na na-expound yung explanation dahil na din sa case digest na nabasa ko. Kasi pag case digest kasi guys, it's more like the summary of the entire case. Yun yung case digest. Yung ando na yung mga facts, yung mga issues doon, tsaka yung mga yung ruling, yung explanation but ganun ang naging ruling ng Supreme Court. Kaya yun, mas maganda talaga pag magbasa ng full text compared sa digested case. Until now, nag-adjust ba ako? As much as possible, I want to read more the full text than the case digest because one time nung Friday, I was able to read one full text talaga. And sabi ko, wow, ayos. Medyo lengthy siya, 11 pages na case. Pero, mas maganda kasi maintindihan mo talaga yung kaso tsaka yung application ng constitution. So, yun. Tapos naman guys, aside from the daily na quiz sa constitution namin, sa first week pa lang ha, we were told that we have to memorize the articles of the constitution. So, so far, we were able to memorize the preamble, article 1, with 6 sections, tapos article 2. So, kailangan namin i-memorize lahat. First week, guys, first week. I'm not really sure kung sa ibang school, ibang law schools, they are required to memorize everything, pati yung sections ng every article sa constitution. But sa amin, si attorney, sabi niya, mas maganda pag na-memorize mo yung articles ng constitution, so that in your higher na level, na or higher years sa law school, eh, mas madali mo siyang i-incorporate sa constitution. Pag may nabasa ka ng mga cases o may mga scenarios ka na ibigay sa'yo, eh mas madali mo siyang hanapin sa constitution because you were able to memorize and you were able to familiarize with the entire constitution. So for now, sa first week, natapos na namin yung preamble, article 1, tsaka article 2. So there are lots of articles pa na kailangan i-memorize in the following meeting. So good luck, self. 
Uh, this week then, because it's first week, I have six subjects guys, and that's 18 units. Every subject, we were given the books that our attorneys will be using. So yun, na-realize ko na ang mahal ng books sa law school. Isang book sa civil code namin, it cost me 2,200 isang book. Ganito ka kapal guys. Isang book pa lang yun. Meron pang crime law, constitution, tas may statutory construction. Hindi pa kasama yung legal profession, tsaka research. So far, nagastos ko so far ha, kasi nag-online purchase ako. Siguro Siguro almost 7K or malapit na siya mag 8K. Hindi pa kasama yung mga photocopies, printing ng mga jurisprudence, printing ng mga cases. Kaya yun, guys, ang mahal talaga. First week pa lang yun. First week sa first M sa first year. Mas marami pang siguro expenses in the following days. So, pag ikaw, you're an aspiring law student, so, save na. Save ka na ng save. Starting today. Yun. Uh, yung experience ko for this week is nahirapan ako mag maghanap ng time para sa rest. Noon guys, before ako nag-law school, wala akong problema sa, sa rest. Because sa work, may, di ba may lunch break naman tayo. Minsan, yung, yung classes ko is until 11 lang. So, 11 to 1 in the afternoon, that's my nap time. Or di kaya, because I'm in the office. So, at least, na napapahinga ko yung brain ko, yung mata ko, lahat yung kamay ko for, for any ano, tas yung bosses ko for discussions, napapahinga ko sila. Kaya lang, by the time na nag ako ng law school, eh, wala na. Wala na akong pahinga. Kasi yung, yung classes ko sa work, is may class ako ng 11. Tapos 11 to 1, I have to spend that one reading cases, reading the books, read, read, reading everything, preparing for my law school late that day. Tapos, May, may, may klase naman ako na from 8 to 12.30. So, from 12.30, kailangan ko pa mag-lunch niyan. Tapos, pag 1, may pasok ulit ako. So, yun, wala na akong pahinga talaga. Tapos, out ako ng 4. Biyahe ako hanggang sa school. Tapos, 8.30 labas. Pagdating ko sa bahay naman, prepare naman for, for tomorrow's work. So, wala. I find it difficult to adjust with my rest. Kaya, ngayon, yung ginagawa ko talaga kasi... For the entire week, wala akong, wala akong sufficient na pahinga. Yung ginagawa ko to, to compensate with the, ano, with the pagod sa law school tsaka sa work, kumakain akong marami ngayon. Since nag-start ng law school, mas marami akong ginakain ngayon guys. Before, talagang ano ko sa kain kasi ayoko nga kasi yung uniform namin, baka hindi na siya magkasya. Kaya medyo inaano ko yung kinakain ko but since we started law school, wala na. Kain ako ng kain just to make sure na hindi ako mangayayat, hindi ako manghina. Kaya yun, siguro I think for this for this week, for the first week, I've been eating like unhealthy talaga. Hindi ko na naano yung mga kinakain ko at saka yung pahinga ko, hindi na siya ma maganda. So yun. So wala na akong time din sa social media. Napansin ko lang ha, Nung nag-start yung pasok namin, I find it very hard to look for time para mag-open mag ng Facebook, mag-open ng Twitter, yung, yung YouTube ko, this one, di ko na na-update nga, kaya yung updates ko, yung mga uploads ko, hindi na siya masyadong ano, hindi na siya updated. Yung sa Twitter nga, hindi rin ako nakapagbasa ng mga ano, pang papapakiling ng mind. So wala na, hindi na rin ako nakapost sa Instagram ko. Which is, I think, that's a good thing for me because I was able to like, focus my time for, for classes, for my work. Kaya lang, di ba, we also need some time to unwind and social media is like an avenue for unwinding for like distressing then, di ba? So, yun lang. Napansin ko din ha. Nung nag-start yung law school, wala na din akong time mag-social media. This week guys, nawalan din akong time na makipag, makipaglaro sa mga dogs ko. If you don't know, I have 7 dogs so far. Yung isang dog ko pa ngayon is bagong panganak lang. Last week, na, na, nagkaroon siya ng puppies. So, nadagdagan yung dogs namin sa bahay. But unfortunately, this week, I wasn't able to like, uh, play with my dogs. Kasi guys, everyday, pag galing ako ng work, I always make it sure that I spend some, like an hour or 30 minutes man lang with them. So, I can let them run and do some exercises. Pinapalabas ko sila. Tapos, nag nagpapray kami ng fetch ng ball. Tapos, pinapakain ko sila. Kaya lang, this week, so far, wala. Wala na akong time talaga for my dogs. At least, ah, I, I try to make it a point na pagdating ko galing sa law school, so that's 9 in the evening, ako pa rin yung nagbibigay ng pagkain. Feed them their feeds, tapos yung tubig, pinapahitan ko pa rin sila ng tubig. Pero yun nga, wala na akong time makipag magpagarutan, makipag play. I just hope talaga na after this week, since it's first week pa lang, na in the following weeks, I'm able to adjust, especially for my dogs. So, those were, I think, the, the negative sides of my adjustment so far sa first week. But, so far din guys ha, nung nag-start ako ng, ng classes, there were, di ba, my impressions. If you've seen my impressions, I'm gonna link that one below sa my description box. So far, nung nag-start na yung pasok namin sa law school, akala ko I'll be, I'll be feeling bored or what. But you know guys, to tell you honestly, never pa ako na bored sa classes namin sa law school. Our professors, sila attorneys, they were discussing about cases, serious cases, 
they were discussing in the in the class and how the constitution was was able to to like rule over the the cases and sabi ko wow ang ganda na appreciate ko yung batas ng Pilipinas na appreciate ko lahat ng constitution and everything so far hindi talaga ako na bore sa classes that is a good thing ha first week pa lang siguro sabihin ng mga senior diyan na nanonood ng video ko na wow ang ingay mo naman first week pa lang ang dami mo na sinasabing maganda first week pa lang yan baka kainin mo yung mga sinasabi mo in the following weeks in the following days pero yun nga I mean who knows basta so far for the first week I feel very excited I feel I feel like masaya masaya ako sa, sa loob ng klase masaya akong pumunta sa law school and to be honest I always look forward talaga to going to law school like gusto kong matapos agad yung, yung work ko so I can go to law school and to like focus makapag-read pa tapos makinig ng mga bagong uh, inputs ng mga attorneys yun yung feeling ko for, for first week I just hope guys na yung excitement yung enthusiasm ko towards law school is hindi siya magbago help me pray na ganun because sabi nga ng mga seniors ko kasi this week din pala we had our first general assembly for the entire na college of law sabi nila there will be a time na parang gusto mo na magquit ng law school I just pray na I'll be able to overcome that time because so far I'm enjoying law school and I'm interested to like learn pa more on our justice system dito sa Philippines So, yun lang guys. I think that's it for my first week dito sa sa law school. So, first week pa lang yun. Ang dami kong sinasabi, di ba? What more sa mga following days, sa mga following exams. So, you will expect na mas marami akong reklamo o di kaya mas marami akong sasabihin about sa law school. So, yun guys. Please, if you have comments about this video, if you have your if you have your own experience sa law school, sa mga may pasok na sa law school o yung iba wala pang pasok kasi sa August pa. So, kayo, if you have your pasok already, please don't forget to comment kung anong mga experience mo for the first week, kung anong nangyari sa first week mo sa law school and everything and also if you have questions about me about sa law school about everything just write that one below don't forget to, to write that one sa my comment section below so yun lang if you like this video please don't forget to click like and again don't forget to click subscribe and click the notification bell sa tabi ng subscribe shout out ko lang sa lahat ng mga bagong followers ko thank you guys for, for the support and I hope to be hearing also from you in the following videos and yes I want to give this shout out to Sir Claro Castillo who has been a uh, asking me for a shout out Sir Claro pasensya na kasi minsan nakakalimutan ko pag ano pag gumagawa na ako ng video so hi to Sir Claro from Isabela so sir thank you for the encouragements for the messages na sinisend mo then yun I hope to be hearing some more feedbacks from all of you guys so yun lang and I'll just see you in my next video so thank you